Hello everybody, Trello here, and today we are going to look at the SDKFZ222. Or more precisely, we're going to look at both variants, because of course this came to the German tech tree and the Chinese tech tree. And we're going to look at the German variant first, because this is to my mind the superior variant, because it comes with the HFAP-T rounds. So 31mm of penetration at 500m. The Chinese variant just comes with default, high explosive and the armor piercing incendiary tracer rounds which only have a maximum penetration of 23 millimeters we also have the kwk 38 20 millimeter cannon on the german version which has a fire rate of 450 rounds per minute and it has a superior top speed of 56 miles per hour on a 80 horsepower engine though 9.4 miles per hour reverse is slightly worse than the chinese variant as you can see on the chinese variant the engine is technically more powerful, 107 horsepower, but only 54 miles per hour top speed forward, so 2 miles per hour less. But 10.2 miles per hour backwards, so about, what was it, 0.8 mile per hour or so faster backwards. So we've got a slightly slower for driving forward variant for the Chinese, and it does get worse for the ammunition because, like I say, it only comes with the armor piercing incendiary tracer and the high explosive round. And it's on a KWK 30 20mm cannon. So we've gone from 450 rounds a minute to 280. So this is significantly worse in fire rate. Uh, this is definitely the inferior version. I know when it was announced in the dev blog, there was a, the suggestion this would be more of a AA variant for the Chinese. Whereas I think for the Germans, it will be more of an all round vehicle. For the Chinese, it is the start of their AA line. It is the first and only Tier 1 SPAA vehicle they have. For the Germans, it is the start of their AA line, but they do have the Flak Panzer 1 and 38 for, for actual anti-aircraft work. And as you might expect, armour is pretty light. 30mm at the front around the engine area, but everywhere else is about 8mm, even if it's sloped. And of course, the crew is the gunner, commander and driver. Interestingly, the commander can also fire the main armament, so just taking out the gunner may not necessarily be enough. And the Chinese variant actually has worse armor. It doesn't have this 30mm section here. So yeah, this is definitely the worst performing variant. The commander can still fire the main armament at least, but yeah, everywhere else it is just it's just slower driving, slower firing, and worse protected. We're gonna quickly give the German variant a test drive just to see how it performs. Now we're just going to try out the Chinese one and of course one advantage I may have forgotten to mention earlier is while it is faster, while it is slower firing it does carry 20 rounds of ammunition. I think the German variant only had about 10 and because we're slower firing you can adjust your aim a little bit more and of course you can fire more rounds at the enemy. Perhaps that's why I was having issues because I was just firing out my entire ammo complement in like two seconds on the German variant. And we're trying against the T26, but um, no. it's about the same as the uh, German variant. Not particularly better. Although, again, because we have more ammunition, we have still got rounds available to fire at the Type 94 there. And sorry, that wasn't a T26, that was a Hargo. Literally, the only advantage to the Chinese variant, which I've seen from test drives, is that it has a 20 round magazine, so it can fire for longer, and because it's firing slower, you can at least sort of readjust your aim, whereas the German version only has 10 rounds, and because you're firing all your rounds in like 2 seconds, it's a lot harder to actually adjust your aim. So the Chinese version is probably for better for aim shots, whereas the German one will just be, if you're just putting out as many rounds as you can possibly fire then it's going to be superior in that regard so yeah that is the sd kfz 222 german and chinese variants and like i say to my mind the german version is the superior one the chinese one isn't awful of course but the german variant is just definitely better in most respects like i say the only advantage i can really see to the chinese one is the larger magazine and it's only 10 extra shots and well that may come in handy if you are just trying to put out as much firepower as you possibly can, you definitely want to go for the German variant. But they're both very welcome additions to War Thunder, and I'm glad China now has a Tier 1 SPAA vehicle. 
which of course it didn't have before. So something is better than nothing. And in the German tree, it will provide some variety, which has not previously been there. And it's always welcome to see more armoured cars. So anyway, that was the SDK of Z222, German and Chinese variants. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll join me for future ones. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.